Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Coe here. Super excited about some of the drawings enhancements that we're putting into this May release of Fusion 360. First thing, we took the drawing settings and we put them at the browser. And we also enhanced some of the settings themselves. First one I'm going to show off is the ability to show line widths. Awesome, right? Um, here we can control the different um, line width thickness. Uh, if you will, so that we can show the pre and post um, versions of our quarantine self. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm certainly a little thicker than I was a month ago. <laughs> well, that's not it. Um, while that's uh, certainly a nice feature enhancement, this one to me is going to unlock some possibilities and open up some doors that many of you have been asking us for um, for a while here. And that's the ability to create geometry um, on its own, uh, geometry that's not dependent upon 3D models to put in your drawings. So we're calling this free sketch. Um, you can go ahead and, as you saw, we've got lines, arcs, circles, rectangles. We've got some modification tools for move, copy, trim, uh, offset here. I'm going to uh, sketch out uh, this, this profile here just as, you know, maybe this is a symbol. Maybe this is a piece of geometry that I throw in my drawings and make minor, minor modifications to it all the time that doesn't need a model associated to it. Um, and I want to use this symbol or this piece of geometry, this representation over and over and over again. Um, certainly a use case that I think I can't even begin in two minutes to describe the amount of usage that this functionality is going to get. Here's another great example, notes. What if I just create a new sketch, I put some notes in there, notes that I normally would type over and over and over again, maybe make minor modifications, tolerances, details, and those types of things. That's a great use case for using this functionality because the great thing is any one of these sketches that you create, you can copy and you can paste them on this sheet, of course, or you can paste them in between sheets, as I've done here, blank sheet, incredibly detailed drawing. I just, they're all hidden lines, <laughs> a hidden line joke. Anyway, um, that's all great between sheets, but where it really begins to hit home is the ability to copy and paste these sketches between drawings themselves. This one's going to be huge. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. Stay tuned. Much more to come in drawings. We'll see you next time.